I think in order to target it, I'd want to know a little bit more about like what are you trying, what service are you trying to provide for the person? Because this is so broad, I don't know if you're a tutor for actuary of them, if you're a consultant. Great. Now, a great. Let's go with this for a moment. Yeah, a little off track from the message itself. It's a great point because people. I, I did a workshop like this in a really small group I'm in, and there was a real estate attorney in the room, and he got up and said, "I get it. I help people get the keys to their dream house." And you know, a little over the top, but you know, nice image. And immediately, someone in the room said, "Well, shouldn't he say I'm a real estate attorney who helps people get the keys to their dream house?" What do you think? What if you know? What if I say I'm a real estate attorney who helps people get the keys to their dream house? Or if we know more about Daniel and we put that in stuff, is that more effective? What do you think? Why not? Because you're including a title. I'm including a title. Well, why, but why do you think that's less effective if I include that title at the beginning? It's a trap. Okay. Do you want it to? Well, I think this, I think the second one kind of makes you want to question more. Yeah, I've locked myself into what I am. Is that what you yeah. know you're gonna say? Yeah. Yes. Because the title's not the essence of what you're selling. It's the dream. Yeah. Right. In fact, there's a lot of baggage associated with the title. As soon as he would say, I'm a real estate attorney who, all I'd think of is real estate attorney. I might, you know, maybe I hate attorneys. I might be saying, Well, I don't need a real estate attorney to help me with this. I need a realtor. Yeah, I, I, any baggage that I have associated with that now goes into the message, and the message is muted by it. Whereas if he just says, "I help people get their keys, to the, get the keys to their dream house," now if I'm interested in that, I'm going to ask him more. Now we have this conversation, and I start to get really excited about what he does and how he does it, and I'm starting to say, "You know, I didn't think I needed a real estate attorney, but..." Joel really can help me. He's a great person. I really want to work with him. So by not knowing more, a lot of times it's more effective because it engages the person to say, tell me more. Tell me how you do that. Tell me what's the context. What, who do you work for? Why? You know. So anyway, uh, just wanted. To, it was a great point that, I, that you brought up that I wanted to get into here. Did you have a question? on what you know what you're going for and it's something you have to experiment with you know you have to say let, let me see what reaction I'm getting um, and as you said you, know, you may not be drawn to that at all um, there may be a lot of other people who are drawn to it very well so you so you know if, if I were doing it I'd experiment I'd see is this getting the reaction that I'm looking for and are people asking me more um, if I find that I'm going over the top and people are just, yeah, you know, like they're turned off by it, then I better find a different way to approach this. Yes, I, I think a lot. I, I hear what you're saying, but I think a lot also depends on the context. If somebody on the Avenue of Americas right here were to come over to me with that uh, introduction, I would just walk by right by them. Right. Whereas at, at a social event, maybe like at the bowling alley, you know, or we have you know, so that you have us speak to the person. They're not trying to catch me or trap me or so yes. I'm willing to hear what they're telling me. Yeah, th so. it, it has a lot to do with context and it has a lot to do whether it's being done in a way that sounds like I'm trying to sell you something. Um, I, I'm very much not that way myself. I mean, I, you know, I don't teach my clients. I, you know, I, I say, look, this is not about becoming the stereotypical pushy insurance salesman that everyone crosses the street to avoid. This is about becoming really comfortable saying something that's engaging, but that just that basically raises your visibility and influence and gets people curious and asking more, not 
selling it. In fact, the selling really is a much later stage in the process if that's what you're trying to do. This is just to get a conversation going and get people engaged. And whether and whether I come up to you and I introduce myself that way, or I have a conversation with you, and later in the conversation where you say, well, what do you do? I, I come out with a statement. It makes a huge difference in, in the perception.